Some job announcements will make you scratch your head. It can seem like the job announcement was written for a particular person and that person isn't you. So what are some indicators that can let you know that job is meant for someone else? First thing to understand is that just because a hiring manager prefers one person, it doesn't mean that they're gonna get the job. A lot of times that individual might not even make the cert, the hiring certificate. So in that case, the best qualified is picked. Take this for an example. There was this guy who was tapped on his shoulder and say, hey, this job is for you. This is your promotion. Make sure you apply for it. And he applied. It was from GS 12 to GS 13. He applied for that job, but he wasn't referred. You see, you still have to get past human resources. And how do you get past human resources? You do it with a strong federal resume. And if you want a proven strong federal resume template that can help strengthen your resume, check out the pinned comment down below. The first indicator are oddly specific job requirements in that job announcement or wanting applicants to have experience utilizing agency specific systems. You wouldn't have that experience unless you worked in the agency in the past. Check this out. This is for a DOD job announcement for a management and program analyst. Now it says open to the public, but when we scroll down and look at the qualifications, they want someone that has five years in special operations related to chemical and biological environments. Not only that, but they want somebody with EOD experience, which is explosive ordnance disposal. Okay, let's take a step back. Let's be realistic with this. How many people actually served in the military? If you Google it right now, the number is 6%. Out of that 6%, how many people in the military have experience in special operations? It would be 2%. 2% of the 6%. So we're talking about a tiny segment of individuals. So the, the, the hiring path of open to the public is a little misleading if you're looking for a unicorn candidate. Now, is this job announcement for one person? Maybe or it could be for three or four people or a handful of people, but the chances are it's not for you. It's not for me, it's for someone else. So if you don't have this background, I don't care what job series it is. If you don't have this particular background, don't waste your time applying to this job. The next indicator are jobs that have internal hiring as a pathway. This allows the hiring manager to have a lot more flexibilities when they're selecting their candidate. Here you can see that this job announcement, it's open to the public, which is great, but it also has open to internal hire. So will they go with the known candidate or the unknown candidate? Here are some great reasons to go with the known candidate. First, you have a quick turnaround. The background check doesn't need to be done. You don't have to do the fingerprints, the photograph. You don't need to do any of it. You can just transfer that individual into the office. Next is if you promote from within, there's less turnover taking place within your agency. There's also a sense of comfort with knowing what you're going to get. Maybe this individual has worked there two or three or four years, so you know their work ethic. There's no mystery on what you're getting if you select Bob, but if you select Susan, maybe you don't know what you're getting. Another indicator is if the job announcement is under the direct hire authority. With direct hiring, that has the greatest flexibility for a hiring manager. You can literally pass a name on to the hiring manager and say, Hey, he's the guy, Nathan Green, that's the man. And then you can just pull his resume or say, I know Nathan Green. And I go up to the hiring manager and say, hey, Nathan's a great guy. He has everything you're looking for. He has the right experience. Here's his resume. They can take that resume. They can hire off of that resume. Direct hire doesn't deal with veterans preference or competitive ranking. It doesn't have to deal with any of that. Now, not anyone can do direct hire either, that authority comes from OPM. So if an agency needs it, then they have to request that authority. This can work in your favor to help expedite the hiring process, or it can work against you if someone's already in mind. If you wanna find these positions, interestingly enough, there's no filter. So if you actually wanna find these positions, you gotta to go to the search bar, type in direct hire, click search, and after that, scroll down, you'll see the positions that fall under direct hire. Next is there's a very short window to apply. Okay, when I talk to people, this is the most common reason why people think someone else is in mind. When they see a job announcement only open for a few days. When you go to usajobs.gov, you'll see job announcements that are open for 12 months. You'll see some that are open for six months, sometimes maybe a month or a couple of weeks. Then you will come across job announcements that are only open for three days, or it'll say the first 25 candidates or the first 50 candidates will be considered for this job. And most people when they think about this is, why are you limiting yourself? 
Why are you limiting yourself for the first 50? Maybe the best candidate is number 51 or number 101. And what you have to understand with this is that if the agency has a job announcement open for a month, instead of 50 applicants, they could have 500 applicants. And maybe that position is an urgent fill. They're trying to get someone in there quickly and they don't want to shuffle through 500 resumes. And think about the average resume, five pages. So now what are we talking about? 2,500 pages that they're reviewing just to find one person that can do the job. So with the short window, yeah, you can make a case. You can argue and debate and say, yeah, three days or the first 25 candidates, someone's already in mind. But truthfully, you will not know. You know how you'll know for certain if a, if a job announcement is meant for an individual? You will know when the hiring manager tells you. If you're, walking, if you're a federal employee, you're walking down the hall or after a meeting and you're talking with the hiring manager, maybe you're sharing a cup of coffee and the hiring manager says, hey, I know so-and-so knows so-and-so and I want them to get this job. You might hear it casually mentioned like that. You might hear it in passing. But the truth of the matter is from an outsider looking in, you're never gonna know for certain. So you do not want to pass on a job opportunity simply because you think the job was meant for someone else. And there's a reason why people grasp to this thought. First, it happens. Yeah, it does happen. But another reason is people are not do not have strong resumes and they're applying. They apply a dozen times and they think the system is, is fixed. It's a rigged system. They have no shot. So they just quit trying and they go work whatever other job, their backup job, whatever it is. They just stop. And then for the rest of their time here on earth, they're telling everybody that usajobs.gov is rigged and nobody can get a fair shot. And that is absolutely false. Do not allow yourself to be one of the discouraged individuals walking around blaming other people. Instead, take the time. Take the time to talk to somebody. Take the time to strengthen your resume. Take the time to build that habit where you're consistently applying two, three, or four times a day. And then your job offer is coming. It's on the way. Now, if you are still applying to government jobs, but you would like to know, am I applying to the right agency? Is this a good agency to even apply for? Are you going to regret it once you onboard? Well, a list came out recently that ranks all the agencies from the best to the worst. And if you're interested in that list, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.